Hi golfers, David Reckless from Reckless Golf. Today I'm here at the Gordon Public Golf Course in Sydney and we're on the fifth tee. It's a par five, it's 457 metres and it's a dog leg round to our left. I want to show you some of the mistakes that most golfers make when playing these holes and show you how I would go about playing the hole. It's not a very long par five, but with one real exception. Where it dog legs to the left, it's 230 metres and it gets very, very narrow. So the tee shot is probably the hardest shot here to play. So we want to show you how to go about playing the hole and give you some great tips on how to get that score at least a five here at worst because everyone's trying to hit the ball too far. So we're going to show you how to play the hole smart and make a par every time you play it. Now, it's measured from the back markers at 457 metres. Today, the markers are about nine metres further forward. So it's only playing about 448 metres. So it's um, a little short hole, but a tricky hole if you don't get a good tee shot away. As I said, it was a dog leg round to the left. It's only a short par five, but there's all trouble up the left-hand side. There's a creek. So I don't want to be up the left-hand side. If I'm going to miss the ball anywhere, I want to miss it on the right-hand side of the fairway. Now, as I said, it's 230 metres to the corner, so I'm not going to use my driver because as I hit, the further I go down the fairway, the narrower it gets, and so it's harder to play the hole. So I'm going to hit my three wood, even though I'm into the wind, and hopefully I can get it down the right-hand side of the fairway to give myself an easy second shot. Well, the tee shot wasn't that great. I'll probably give myself five out of 10 for it. It's down the right hand side of the fairway, so direction wise it's okay. Distance wise I didn't hit it very well, but that's okay. I'm just in the right edge of the rough. Now I've got to go around the corner. Now the biggest problem here is, on the right hand side about 200 metres away, I've got a creek on the right hand side, so I don't want to hit it too far. My job is going to be, I'm going to hit a six iron and just try and hit about 150 metres down the fairway to leave myself a nice easy third shot in. See how we go. I hit a six iron from a second shot and I hit a pretty good six iron. Probably give myself eight out of ten. I've hit it right in the middle of the fairway and I've got 136 metres left to the flag. So we're going a little bit downhill to the green. 135 metres is my eight iron. We're also going into the wind. Okay, I'm going to take an extra club. I'm going to hit a seven iron, which goes 145 metres. I know I'm going downhill and I should be using less club. But I think that wind's a little stronger than we, we first thought. We're down here in the open, we can actually feel the wind blowing pretty strong. So I'm going to hit a seven iron and see how that works out. I've also got the ball above my feet. So the ground's higher on this side and that's going to make my ball curve to the right. So I need to aim to the left to allow for that to curve off to the right hand side. Let's see how we go. Okay, so I've hit a pretty good shot, but I didn't allow enough to the left for the hill. The ball's hooked a little bit to the right. It is on the green, about 35 feet right of the flag, about pin high, so my club selection with a seven iron was quite good. So what I'm trying to get through to you golfers is, golf is not a game of distance. You notice off the tee, I hit a three wood. If I hit a driver, I've got a narrower area and it's harder to hit, especially with a driver. I didn't hit a great three wood off the tee, but then I hit a really good six iron. And I didn't go far enough because I've got a hazard on my right hand side. I could have used the longer club, but I didn't want to go in that hazard. I wanted to make sure I was in the middle of the fairway, ready to play my third shot. So the six iron worked out really well. And then I've hit a seven iron. It wasn't a great shot either, but I'm glad I took the extra club because of the wind. I hooked the ball a little too far, but I'm on the right hand side of the green, putting for a birdie. Now all I've got to do is make sure I get that first putt nice and close. Hopefully I'll hold it, but let's get it nice and close so I can make a five and move on from there. 
So just remember that golf is not a game of distance. I played this hole strategically. I didn't play it very well. And we know we don't always play that well. I hit a poor first shot, but I got it on the, in the right hand rough. I hit a good second shot and a poor third shot. But I'm on the green putting for, fo for four. And that's all I really want. If I can walk away with five, hopefully I can get the putt close. We're a big chance of going to the next hole and hopefully playing a little bit better. I hope you enjoyed this little session on course management. Please, have a look at what's in front of you. Don't always try and go for broke. Just play it up the fairway and get it in play. Nice and safe so you don't lose your golf ball and you don't lose shots. Go to my website, www.recklessgolf.com.au and we'll see you out on the golf course really soon.